Okay. <clears throat> All right, now. Another very big box. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what is this? I couldn't resist it. Um, yeah. I got a very good deal. Uh -huh. um, it's something I've always wanted, but I never get because of the cost and mainly the shipping. Yeah. Is, um, you can see the size of this. Yeah, but I, I got an amazing deal on it and I couldn't pass it up. And more to that point, guys, if you sell on like eBay or whatever and you have an oversized box, I don't know if you were aware of this, but you know, you have different shipping options on eBay and Federal Express or, or uh, UPS will ship an oversized case a lot cheaper, like as much as 60% less than the post office. A box like this from the post office probably cost you 150 bucks. Yeah. Um, but for UPS or, um, or FedEx, you you might pay like forty seven dollars or something. Mm -hmm. It's a lot cheaper. And oh, that just came right off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Look at this. You got to put it on the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn this and uh, tip it out. Okay. kind of a mini grill yeah for me it is a grill um it is a grill for me because it's something that I've I've wanted and this is classic childhood right here yeah. by the way because I know what this is mm-hmm because I had showed you because I couldn't believe the price and um and and you confirmed it for me so uh I'm I'm excited and um for, like I said for me it is a grill because it's something that I've, I've been wanting and uh, you know I just couldn't pass it up oh my god and that is it it is a Raggedy Ann and Andy toy box and I know some of you are like, what in the world? But it's very nostalgic. Wonky. I just gotta... And then this piece, because you know inside here it was just like this uh, corrugated cardboard mm -hmm. for the uh, for the base. Just get that back in there the right way. Yeah, then I'll come and uh, get some close-up shots. And I found a nice size um, toy box at Goodwill recently. Yeah. And it was like... 15 bucks but it needed to be these are constructed yeah they're pretty flimsy this is, it's it's a it's a it's it's wood and then like i said this is a type of compressed cardboard and i'll show you the bottom that that hinge is what and david will fix all of that for me yeah i'll get it sorted out mm -hmm. here we go on the bottom do you remember this texture on the compressed yeah. cardboard yeah from back in the day that's very 70s right there it's got the mark on that Let's see if I can slowly yeah, zoom if in if you can even read it anymore and of course this is from when Bob's Merrill still had the uh, licensing mm. for Raggedy Ann and Andy but it's nice yeah that's not a very thick yeah you know you're not going to sit your big butt on it but it's um nice for a little kid um, it's nice to have just for your room as a part of the decoration. Yeah, these are extremely nostalgic. And yeah. I know that, um, for example, there's what, um, Masters of the Universe yeah. and G.I. Joe, and there's been other ones that are more highly desirable. Yeah. But because Raggedy Ann and Andy have all been but forgotten at this point. You see more of that compression cardboard on the back here. Got some water even... damage down there at the bottom, it looks yeah. like. But, you they, know, I that's don't think okay. they even make this type of cardboard anymore. No, they don't. And it's it's not in bad shape. It's got a little bit of paint peeling and such, but this isn't bad. It doesn't really need to much more than just be cleaned up yeah and this also reminds me of uh this is the bench style but there was also a bin style that had two 
uh, curved metal rails with wheels, mm -hmm. and then four sides of this type of material, and then a bottom similar to this bottom in this one, and it would have uh, paneling like this. As a matter of fact, I think it is the same uh, imagery. I also think it's kind of uh, kind of cute that they are actually using this very toy box. <laughs> if you notice, yeah. It's the same bench toy box with them on it. Although I think they could have gone a step further and had it on here as well. Yeah. But I guess they figured once deep is enough. And those that is are the, cool. Those are the type of classic uh, toys that you would see in a Raggedy and an Andy story as well. Yeah. But yeah, that is a, that's a nice little piece of history.